the biggest cause of struggling plants or harvest in sparse lawns lies beneath your feet. Most homes come with less than ideal soils. Understanding, evaluating, and improving your soil will help increase your lawn and garden's health, beauty, and productivity. Test the soil when starting a new lawn and garden or one that's struggling and repeat every four to five years to check your maintenance practices. The soil test results will tell you what nutrients are needed for the plants you're growing. Use a trowel and clean bucket to gather a soil sample. Slide away mulch if needed and remove a slice of soil four to six inches deep. Take several samples from the garden or lawn area you want to test. Collect samples from each edge and several throughout the middle of the bed. Mix them together, place about a cup in a plastic bag, and send to your university or state certified soil testing lab. You can take a soil sample anytime the ground isn't frozen and you haven't recently fertilized. While waiting for the results, you can do some testing of your own. Soils are made of clay, sand, and silt particles, with clay being the smallest and sand being the largest. Their size, shape, and amount of each in the soil influences drainage, moisture, and nutrient holding ability. Grab a small handful of soil, add a bit of water, and rub it between your thumb and index finger. If the soil feels smooth and sticky, and easily forms a ribbon or rolls into a sausage shape, you have a high percent of clay in your soil. These hold on to nutrients, stay wet longer, and are slow to warm up and dry out in spring. Avoid working them when wet. This leads to compaction and clods you'll be contending with all season long. Soils with a high percent of sand barely hold together and feel gritty. The much larger sand particles create bigger pores in the soil for water and nutrients to move through quickly. They tend to be nutrient deficient, fast draining and dry. You'll be watering and fertilizing gardens growing in these types of soil more often, but they do warm up and dry out quickly in the spring. Soils with a high percentage of medium-sized silt particles feel smooth like flour when dry and soapy slick when wet. They hold water and nutrients longer than sand, but not as much as clay particles. Silty soils drain slower and stay cold longer than sandy soils in spring. Overworking silty soils leads to crusting and compaction, decreasing drainage and water infiltration. No matter your soil type, incorporating several inches of organic matter, such as compost, aged manure, or peat moss into the top eight to 12 inches of soil is the solution. Organic matter improves the water holding ability of fast draining soil and increases drainage in heavy, slow draining soils. Organic matter also increases the infiltration rate, so less rainfall runs off the soil surface. This helps keep water where it falls and fertilizers where applied instead of overloading our storm sewers and potentially polluting our waterways. Further improve your soil by using the Lorganite, a slow-release fertilizer with a high percent of organic matter. The 85% organic matter feeds soil microorganisms and your plants while improving all soil types. Plus, it won't damage new or established plantings even if the weather turns hot and dry. So as you plan your new landscape additions or renovate existing gardens, include testing, incorporating organic matter, and fertilizing with malorganite into your plans. Understanding your soil can help you create a strong foundation important to the health, beauty, and longevity of your lawns, gardens, and landscapes.